I'm one of these people who knows what they want to do. And I went out for a dog sled ride with a friend in Alaska, and I said to myself, wow, this is what I want to do. these animals like my children they they give me a family um, they balance my life my work is as a clinical social worker so I'm giving a lot in my work and to my uh, patients and then when I come home I get unconditional support cuddles uh, and challenges uh, for my dogs so it's a perfect lifestyle for me our whole lives, except when we're off campus, really involve at least one or several dogs with us at all times. Guys, let's go, okay. During the week, we're up at 5.30 and we need to go to the garage to soak the kibbles because dogs can't use water buckets in the winter, they freeze. And I bring my uh, food cart, we call it uh, Nancy's uh, lunch wagon. I bring it out and they get fed and we have a couple of dogs on a special diet. The bowls come up, clean the bowls, bring the wagon back. That's probably about 45 minutes to an hour depending upon how many cuddles we need to give. For the dogs, they go through about $80 a week on food. We tried to figure out how much it cost us. All I can tell you is, it's a lot of money. <laughs> They've got to be a team dog. Uh, they were most important because they're working close, uh, in close quarters and close with other dogs. Um, of course, you, you want a friendly dog, you want a, a high energy dog. Um, and of course, you gotta have the characteristics of a, of a husky. On the weekends, we do a lot of show and tell. We uh, invite guests up to do dog sledding. And it's a very full life. Recreationally, like us, we set our own schedule. We do it because we think it's important and because we like to do it. If we don't feel it's good for us or for the dogs, then we defer. about four and a half, very smart, good lead dog. He's one of my main girls. She's probably the fastest dog on the hook. She's my, She's my Ruby. And she was named after villages in Alaska. And Ruby is uh, one of the villages on the Iditarod Trail. The dogs are named with a theme for litter. This is Valentine. He was named after holidays. And he doesn't really want to be a sled dog. <laughs> he wants to be a stud muffin. And we run him, but he'd rather skip the ride if he had a choice. Every day is different. Just like with people, every relationship, every event is different. That's probably my biggest challenge is knowing that I am likely to outlive my dogs so that the time that we have together uh, is very special.
Daisy, my oldest dog. Uh, she spends a lot of time inside. She's earned being inside. She's earned her status. Uh, two ladies growing old together.